Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to A Contagious Smile. Your lovely host, Michael, I mean, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> and your redneck host, Michael. We're glad to have y'all here today. Uh, it's going to be a little short. Uh, I have some other guests coming in a little bit later here in about 30 minutes. So, yes. Hi. Howdy. Hi. So, my wife and I have been sitting here talking uh, about... Um, An amazing individual who's yes. going to be doing our podcasting for pause October 6th through the 8th. And what a story, what an inspiration of it just, growth. It blows my mind. Well, I told her, she she actually identified and said, I'm broken and shattered and I can't, you know, become whole again. And I said, I want you to think about something. I felt the same way. And I said, and then you think of a stained glass window and you think that's all broken glass and those beautiful pieces came together and it's inspirational and it's amazing and it has light shining through and that's you. And she got so emotional. And I said, you are such an inspiration and you're a voice for those that are afraid to speak up. She goes, I was that voice that was afraid to speak up. And her, st I'm not going to tell any more of her story because, I mean, we were both almost in tears. She was definitely crying. And what an inspiration, an amazing lady. And her name is Miss Liz. And you will get to hear her amazing story if you come on and join us for our annual event. And and I'm sure it is truly a uh, amazing story. Just from the little bit that I heard, uh, excuse me, that uh, I, I just it blows my mind that you know there there are monsters out there who prey on people um, like like Miss Liz, um, and it's just it, it's sickening to know that it could be a family member. Yeah, you know, don't tell any more of her story. I'm subtle hints. Well, it's sad and. I am so proud of her for finding her strength. Absolutely. And this is what she's using it for. And she's in Canada. She said, you know, she openly states that. And so she is the only person in 43,000 that is partaking in something. And that's all I'm going to say. And I'm so proud of her for it. That's a little, little, little... Oh, what's that about? You're gonna have to tune in to hear. But she is a force to be reckoned with. And when's our event? The sixth through the eighth for October. It's Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and that is coming up very soon. Y'all tuned in. My wife has worked diligently, extremely hard, and long, long nights trying to host and produce this and, and get folks on. She's got some uh, major names. Rather. Big names on it. But everybody, I don't care who they are, everybody who's coming on. They still put on their bridges. They're right? amazing. Amazing. It's people amazing. helping people. Yes. And speaking of people helping people, you're welcome. Because today okay. is National Daughters Day. And I know you forgot. No, I didn't. Right. I just brought home a present for her and I. Right. Well, you didn't even remember my birthday till the next day on Facebook. So, no. So I put a beautiful post about both of our daughters and put their pictures and all, all of that because that's what I do. Anyway, so happy National Daughters Day to all the amazing daughters. And I hope my grandparents are proud because that's yeah. what means so much to me. So with that being said, uh, Pennsylvania school, so exciting. It, it, I hope everybody can find this out went out on a boycott. The kids went out on a boycott. I'm so proud of these kids because they started school and the school now has gender friendly bathrooms and the kids did not what school is want this? it. It's in Pennsylvania. No, elementary, middle, high school. I'm not sure. I believe it's middle or high school because all I saw was the kids outside and it just said a Pennsylvania school. So I understand why they're keeping it kind of hush hush right. about the details, but the kids are outside boycotting about how they do not agree with this. And that is amazing for these kids. Awesome. Great job for these kids. Like high five. Because they don't think it's appropriate that they have gender neutral bathrooms because of the fact that people one day want to be whatever, whatever. And now even in New York, they're having these new laws where your child can come to school as say Beth and then they give her time to change and become Bobby. And then they give her time to him to change back into Beth. And then they don't tell the family. I see that as a form of abuse. I don't know about you, but if we have to disclose everything to the schools and the schools are, 
you know, if they're not in school enough, if they have too many absences or whatever, they get to investigate us. How come they get to keep secrets about our children? Those are our kids. And they think they have the right not to disclose to us what's going on in our own home. And then they're going to feel like they can't trust us. The school's turning the family away from the kids. It's going to be a huge separation issue. I think it's totally wrong, you know, and then you're you're teaching the kids that, you know, oh, you can come to school and be someone you're not because whether or not that's true in their heart of hearts that they want to do a transition over to the other gender, they're telling them it's okay for you not to tell your family. They're telling, they're teaching these kids it's okay not to be open and honest with your family. How are we going to have a strong family unit and break the cycle of abuse when schools are teaching them you don't have to tell them what's going on. It's okay. It's no issue. So does that mean that a teacher is going to cover up if, say, Beth goes in during the day and changes to Bob, and then Bob goes to the bathroom and gets unfortunately beaten up by boys because he goes to the gender bathroom? What are you going to tell the parents when Bob comes home as Beth with a black eye? Well, it sounds like they, the school's going to lie to us. Oh, oh, go parents, figure. Right? They're already lying, and they're teaching kids to lie and deceive us. Right. So why not, you know, the education system? So then does that mean that the school is going to believe everything they have to say? I mean, it's all around wrong. They don't care. They're, they're just going to be like, okay. I mean, we don't teach spelling anymore. We don't teach cursive anymore. Like, everything is done on an electronic computer or a tablet. Have they, they have. The they take God out of it. Like. You know, when I volunteered when Faith was in school and I had the, I was the chair and the room mother and everything, they were like, you have to sit crisscross applesauce. Well, sorry, where in the hell does applesauce crisscross? It doesn't. Because it's offensive to say, sit Indian style. Are you serious? So then, like, for Christmas, I was doing a big Christmas party for the kids. And the kids, you know, were so excited. The teachers were like, no, 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 you can't say Christmas. You have to say winter break. And I'm like, for what purpose? Well, you're going to offend. Um, I'm going to offend who? Oh, the principal. That bitch? Please, 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 please let her come on up. So you know what I did? We made Christmas tree cookies. We made gingerbread houses. I had one of the kids go down and, and tell principal bitch that she needed to come on up. And when she did, I said to her, hey, I have a cookie for you. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and I gave her a cookie. And she just looked and goes, this is not what we're supposed to do. It's supposed to be winter break. And I said, well, it's Santa. Are you saying now the kids can't believe in Santa anymore? Are you saying, you know, you know, I was like, maybe we should have made Grinches in favor of you. We could have done self-portraits of you. Yeah. And I told her that. And I was like, how can you just ruin the happiness of a child? It's Christmas. You know, like the kids that are coming over from our borders, they are integrating into our schools and we're supposed to be able to teach them. They don't speak any English. Every child who comes into a public school is supposed to have someone in that facility that can speak their language. Are you kidding me? We don't have that. That's not going to happen. That's going to be impossible to get. But that's okay. Let's just hurry up and, and bring them over and bring them in and, and make them wait. I mean, what in the hell is going on with our world, yet alone our country? Let's just even back down to the country. What the hell? I, I, I can rightly answer that. Stupidity. <laughs> you know, I, I I made you watch that awesome movie called Idiocracy. I've already seen it before. Oh, it's awesome. Mm, you have a weird taste in movies. Well, that's the way this country's going. Mm -hmm. The dumb, the dumbest of the dumb are going to start running it. Aren't they already? Well, we're at the mentally handicapped right now. Don't put that in the same category with people who have true mental disability or mental illness. I mean, he he's just falling all over himself. That's a safe way to say it. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's a safe way to say it. You know, I've had the privilege and honor to interview people who worked in the in the Reagan administration and the Bush administration. And they were like, it's so different than now because like Nancy and Barbara knew everybody by first name, you know, and Nancy was known to like she'd go in the White House kitchen, make cookies and take it to her Secret Service agents like grandma, you know, and then you have all these 
amazing people. Like, I'm sorry. I have never seen one of our first ladies like Nancy Reagan, Jacqueline Kennedy. You have even even Barbara Bush. Whenever they were any, you have to say it. I'm sorry. Melania Trump. When you look at the first ladies, forget the husbands, look at the first ladies, whenever they would come off Air Force One or they would do a presentation somewhere or they would be you know, speaking somewhere, they were dressed and representing America so beautifully, like so beautifully. You never, ever, ever saw a first lady get off Air Force One in booty shorts and whatever or they go to the beach, get into a, a public beach and go sit in a bathing suit on the beach with Joey Bag of Donuts, you know, whatever the case may be. You are representing this country and we are supposed to be the most powerful country in the world where right now we look like the weakest, dumbest, you know, screwed up because my husband is giving me this look. It's just, I, I what, what? Well, normally we don't talk about politics. We don't. We but this it. isn't talking politics. We're not talking about like the election and and all that. We're talking about you know representation. Right for those survivors out there, those kids who need. I, I mean, growing up, I you know looked up to Reagan. I looked up to you know the people like Condoleezza Rice. I looked up to her. I looked up. I just lost his name. Oh my! Help me out. Uh, I'm, I'm, no. I'm no help. Oh my! I You're can see his field. face. I'm trying to reel you back in. I can see his face. That's great. So, for amazing African American man. While she's giving a tank. Oh, what get was on our website. Like, Y'all get on our website. Go through each tab. See what we have to offer. Uh, if you're unsure about Colin Powell, I didn't even have to finish. Colin Powell, I was in awe of him. I was in awe well, of here's, him. here's the mic. Thanks. I was in awe of him, Condoleezza Rice. These were amazing human beings. Just amazing. Reagan, Nancy, George, Barbara, Condoleezza. Like, where is Condoleezza Rice now? Colin Powell, my understanding is he's passed. Rest in peace. Where's Condoleezza? Like, these are people that need to be back on that front line. Sorry, but they do. Okay, I'm done. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I'm good. So we we, we still have dogs um, to give away Cute and babies. and to uh, you know find their forever home. So y'all follow us on on the event. Follow us on any of the platforms we're on. Uh, twenty eight, twenty nine, somewhere in that neck of the woods. Thirty, thirty one. Okay, as we can count. We're up yonder, y'all. Yonder. So, hey, give us a redneck word to learn of the day. Um. Uh, you gotta ask Jeff, your buddy there. You might be a redneck. He, yeah. he knows all them words. So do you though. Yes. You you just like heal is it healing or heal as you climb up? Okay. I mean, I think it's great. I think it's great you're teaching new language. But like <laughs> when you cook, you use oil. What do you call it? It's oil. What? Oil. Or negative. What is what you do when you're in a ring and you jump and you're, you're okay? Can you get back on topic? But I, but it, it's wrestling. Okay, back on. What is, what do you call it? It's wrestling. What? Wrestling. It's not rat. What wrestling? I, I bet it, if there, there'll be fifteen hundred comments, uh, Miss Jackie, uh, Miss uh, Victoria, it is wrestling. Who's the southern woman you're talking about? Hmm. I only talk about you, beautiful. Yo, that's called backpedaling. So, <laughs> our event's coming up. Um, puppies are ready to go. We have five. We have five puppies left. Uh, if y'all know us, PM us, contact us, so we can get you a puppy. What else? Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to. Let me guess. Are you going to scrub this one? No. Okay. Mm -mm. No. My wife's so beautiful, y'all. She, Y'all just don't know the inner light she has. <laughs> I look at her eyes and I see she's full of life now. And don't say, yeah, you're full of something. All right. 
No, back before, after my abuse, I know I like you, you look at my pictures. No, it y'all y'all go on Amazon and and uh, seriously contemplate and buy her book. Contemplate? Uh huh. Who kicked first? Only because once they go through the comments and read the reviews, they'll understand. Hey, this is not a happy-go-lucky story. This is a very very hard book to read. A lot of the reviewers put trigger the, warnings. Yeah, they put that they cannot put the book down, or they had they they had a hard time reading it because it, it's 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 very engrossing. It's very detailed. Uh, I believe there's pictures. No, no pictures. I won't let my husband read it because it, he's it in set, it. It sets the the reader in the mindset and and really puts you there according yeah. to the reviews. Everybody says they feel like they're looking in a window and can't get in to help me get out. Who kicked first? By Victoria Cure. Y'all, y'all, y'all help her out and um, maybe help out someone who who needs this book um, that can help themselves get out of the situation. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be the first time you don't mention the other one? Oh, I am kidding. Yeah. I have to, I'm, I'm going to go on live and read a, a few pages from my daughter's book. Is it going to be redneck style or English? Wow, you didn't even correct me. I said my daughter. Well, everybody knows she's, she's mine. <laughs> this is just a common note. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to read a few pages from uh, our daughter's book. I am kitten. Dane, dad's girl. Dang, 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 dang so let me ask you, when she puts out her new book she's working on about me, are you going to read it out loud? I'm going to read some of it. Out loud? Uh-huh, on live. Huh. Do it live. <laughs> and if y'all want to, uh, you know, help us out, jump on board and uh, send us a little bio of you and, and see how we can, uh, you know, best fit your needs and, and you with us and you know, who knows where this thing will go? Networking. And you can talk about the upcoming annual event. That's amazing. Um, that if they want to donate, every little tiny bit helps. Yeah. Because we're funding this out of our own pocket and have for a long time. And it gets time. There's times where it's very challenging for us to continue. We're, we're just like every other American out there living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, guys, we're we're not rich. Well, uh, no. We're not dirt poor. Um, you know, we provide a roof over our family's head, food and clothes. And right now we currently have 31 dogs uh, outside and inside. And, you know, they have needs. They have medical needs. They have uh, vet bills. Of course, the food and, you know, repairing kennels and stuff. So treats, toys, you know, man, if we could get just, you know, a few thousand subscribers to, you know, donate a dollar. Uh, you know, a dollar a month, that, that would be awesome in my in my book. That would just, that would be the bee's knees. The what? Whatever. What's the bee? What? Forget it. That's you youngin. Okay. Youngin. You're a youngin. Youngin. My husband gave me the most beautiful flowers for my birthday. I want to thank everybody for the messages and the text and the emails and the smoke signals and all the wonderful outreaches that I got for my birthday my husband even posted something amazingly sweet not that we had to like force him or anything but it was unbelievably sweet so we, we've also got this new thing we're going to do we're we have our stud our uh, no we papers. have my stud that's my boy let's okay. make sure we're politically okay. correct i stand corrected we have mama stud then we have another stud we're rearing up named rusty now we are going to add a third one. Maverick. Maverick. Maverick so is exactly eight weeks and two days old. So we're gonna with the eyes that'll melt you. We're gonna start filming him and and watch his progress as he grows. And uh maybe you know, y'all can get on there and I don't know if we'll have something separate for him or attached to the webpage and more work for me, thanks. You're welcome. Because I don't have enough. You sit on your butt all day. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to retract that. And I'm counting. And I forgot 1 through 27. <laughs> and you produce. You 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 manage and maintain the company, the household. You have everything supplied. You run the daughter's school. All while sitting on your butt. 
no, not good. Keep going. <laughs> and I have a new adventure I'll be starting next week, which we're going to oh, not right. share just of yeah. yet. I've already shared it. So what do you mean you already shared it? Uh, folks on me that out, out on the road. Well, go ahead and share it. No, no, go ahead. No, not yet. Nope. It's fine. Seriously. Go ahead. Just no. Get it out. Yeah. Rip the bandaid off. Sure. So, uh, under on the website, a contagious com, we should have a tab that says services. Correct. I'm just letting you go. And a new service that will be provided by my wife's hard work and dedication because she loves me and she loves helping others is she's getting state certified to be a guardian ad litem. And for those of y'all who don't know what that is, I will let my wife explain. Oh, no. Well, I want you to explain it. It's basically an attorney for your child or for a child. So, for instance, somebody gets divorced and the child is in the middle of it. The child has his own, his or her own representation. And a guardian at litem actually goes in and investigates both parental parties. And then they go in and can investigate the school situation, home situation, interview siblings, interview basically anybody that's within the inner circle, and also works with DFACs if DFACs is involved. And then they make their recommendations to the judge, and they testify in court on behalf of that child. Um, they, they're they really only there for the child. So a guardian ad litem does not represent the plaintiff or the defendant, only the children. And that is something that I think a lot of people don't realize is out there. And I love that because of the fact, not that I love it's not known out there. I love the fact that these children will have their own voice and uh, will have the best interest being what they're, you know, going for. And so, um, luckily I've already been certified and I get, what would you say? Like 90% of what you have to do in order to obtain your, your swearing in. And so I just have to do the formality of the proper forms and how reports are supposed to be done, yada, yada, yada. So then I will graduate that and uh, be sworn in and go to court, testify on behalf of the kids and uh, try to make our kids safer and happier. So the acronym guardian ad litem, GAL, the the GALs, so to speak, uh, don't make a lot of money doing this. Um, their their an annual salary is pretty dang low, like under 50. Uh -huh. So uh, as you see, my wife's not doing this for the money. And that 50 is full time. I'm only doing this part time yeah. because I have a contagious smile that I sit on my butt for. <laughs> Well, we're um, we're happy to have her on board as far as uh, a new gal, Thank you. so to speak. See, I think that's the thing is that I want to help everybody any way that I can. And we learned of a family that was going through a situation and the child was not placed correctly, in my opinion. The child did not have a guardian ad litem um, involved and the child was sent back to the child's abuser and this child physically really was abused and not in a safe home environment and the child was returned to that and what was shocking is they returned to the man and more times than not the child goes to a woman or uh, the other party depending and they knew that this person was abusive and they still sent the child home and and in, and in your professional opinion if you had a represented the child as a guardian ad litem you would have definitely had that child removed from the abuser? Well, in all fairness, because I can't disclose all the contents sure. of all the case and the fact that there are two individuals that want, and they are family members that want this child and provide a safe environment, provide a abusive free environment. Um, more investigation would have to transpire, obviously, but from what I know right this very second, I completely disagree, but there was no guardian ad litem involved. It was just defects, and that happens more frequently than most people know. Right. And anybody can be, you know, a father, father, anybody can be 
um a fat her two pugs and a push doesn't make you a dad i'm sorry you know it it takes someone special to be a daddy it takes someone special to be a dad that's why like faith is never known to anyone but you as her dad and anybody can just you know send some swimmers up and that doesn't make it right for you to be a father or give you the necessary right to have involvement in the child's life if if you are someone who doesn't deserve to be around that child and that doesn't give you the right ever to put your hands on a child in an unwarranted manner and that's what I learned about and the next thing you know I'm like oh sure I have nothing to do I'm already only working 20 hours a day so I'll go get certified and next thing you know here we go so that's the surprise that's the newest trick in my bag that I'm I'm doing we know you give your heart and soul into this and you're helping others to help with the kids especially so we all say thank you our 40 million followers i'm sure they're saying thank you right now even if they're sleeping thank it, you thank you but i don't do it for that reason i do it yeah. because those children need someone who will stand up for them and i will and they'll just they'll, they'll say thank you so what else on your mind Silence. Crickets. Crickets. All right. Well, uh, folks, I have uh, some dogs to attend to. Kennels that need washing. And you're not talking about your exes? No. Oh. No. They're all in Texas. No. Mm, some of them. Some of them might be over the border. Right. You want to take us out? Nope. You can. I've been very busy today. <laughs> well, I, I, as I mentioned, y'all, this was a short one. Uh, but uh, I have other appointments to attend to, other mouths to feed, uh, practically 31 mouths to feed right now. They're all waiting on daddy to come out there, feed them, take them for a walk, exercise them, all that good stuff, rough them up, play with them. Ha, 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 rough, rough, that's cute. <laughs> no pause about it. So y'all be sure to tune into the uh, special event my wife's putting on and others. Uh, it was the 6th to the 8th. Mm -hmm. Of next month. And my husband and I'll be on for one of the slots ourselves. Hmm. Did I just throw that at you? Yes, you did. Too bad. Thanks for the spoiler. No problem. And uh, by all means, check out the uh, service tab under the website, A Contagious Smile. And uh, go check out those books, Who Kicked First and I Am Kitten. Y'all will love and hate them. All right. Bye, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Good night.